guys, this is Donna Bells. Welcome to another Let's Play. Woo! I'm excited. Look at this. It's 2.30 a.m. I'm so excited I can't wait till morning. What can I say? Midnight recordings for the win. All right, so this is a Nintendo GameCube game, which is actually one of my favorite systems. Eh? I know it's a little obscure, but that's okay. <gasps> is that Mario I hear? As I said, this was going to be a very extremely short Mario game. And only one of you guys guessed it on Twitter, actually. Oh yeah, this is Mario Kart Double Dash. And yeah, I'm not surprised any of you didn't, you know, didn't guess this. So this is a very obscure game to LP, I will admit. But I figured since I was like absolutely obsessed with this game over the summer, when I wasn't playing Mario Galaxy, I was playing Mario Kart Double Dash, so I figured I would share this with you guys. And I actually hadn't started even playing this game very heavily until this summer. So I figured this game's like really unique and it's so much fun and has great replay value because you can just keep going and play with friends and everything. Mario Kart Double Dash is a good game to LP. Why not? And this is our start screen. As you might notice, I have beaten the whole game. So this start screen might be different than yours that you actually start out with. Because you have to get all gold medals in the Grand Prix levels. And there are different engine sizes. I'm going to go with 150cc. And there's also mirror mode, but I will show you that later. As you can see, here are all the characters. They're grouped together. Mario and Luigi, Peach and Daisy, Yoshi and Birdo. And each group of characters has their own special item. You can also do random with the, you know, your right and left button, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to go with classic character Luigi and his girlfriend Daisy. And Luigi and Daisy are medium weight characters, and you can use any car with them that are in the medium class. And the gold car you can use with any character, actually. And my favorite medium carts are the Turbo Yoshi and Turbo Birdo. But Turbo Birdo is all pink and girly and looks kind of silly, so I'm going to go with Turbo Yoshi. We all know that I love Yoshi. He's so cute. All right, so this is the Mushroom Cup Grand Prix, and how appropriate, we're starting with the Luigi circuit. This is actually the easiest circuit of the game, which is fine, because you know, you're starting out. I'm gonna show you the turbo start. Once it turns green, right there, you press A to accelerate, and you'll get the little turbo blast at the beginning. And it's really easy if you have the noise on and you can hear it, because you, you know, just time it with the beats and the lights. I probably couldn't do that if the noise wasn't on, so. All right, and this is 150 cc's, which means it's the fastest engine. And the items used here are crazy. All the, all the characters are trying to attack you all the time, so it's pretty hard. Not as hard as mirror mode, but we'll get to that later. All right, I'm just gonna show you this little extra path. This probably wasn't the best time to do it, but. <laughs> Chain Jump got me. Usually he's trying to attack the people on the road, but I guess he's more paying attention to me because I'm not actually like a computer character. Ah, watch out for the banana. That banana was actually Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's special item. It's a big banana and if you run into it, it turns into three smaller bananas. And remember, if you touch the banana on a road, then you peel out, so to speak. Not ah, you get it? Peel out? Yeah. Well, if you touch any item that's on the road, except for like a mushroom, then yeah, you'll be damaged. And this is Mar or Lu me the Luigi and Mario special item with the fireballs. <laughs> and I actually just hit myself. Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. It's okay. And look, we're going against other traffic, so you can actually get hit by people who are far behind you. So watch out for that. All right. Gotta love the red shells. They are so useful because they home in on your opponent in front of you or behind you if you, you know, poop it out behind you. So, it's a pretty good. Yes, it is. Second place. I should have gotten first, but yeah, it's not too bad. You're right. <laughs> okay, so here's the point systems. It goes 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, which is a lot different than Mario Kart 64 because after fourth place, you didn't get any points at all. So. You can also replay this, and it's pretty fun to do that sometimes, especially if you get by some like close scrapes, and there's like cool cinematic effects. All right, and this is Peach Beach. Look familiar, anyone? Eh, eh. Looks like Delfino Plaza to me. 
or Delfino Island. And that's no surprise because this game actually came out in 2003, whereas Super Mario Sunshine came out in 2002. So they were trying to incorporate that into this game, obviously. Alright. Oh, this is a Peach and Daisy special item, and it's the hearts. And this is a little, like, special little way you want to go. Dude, I'm getting some good items. Yeah! Gotta love having the star because you have you are invincible. Nobody can hurt you. And you go faster. Red shell. And the hearts spinning around act as like a protected barrier. So that's why I like to play with Daisy or Peach. Because if there's an item on the ground, like say a banana or a shell, or if a shell actually hits you, you absorb that item and then you can actually use it on the other players. Which is awesome. Alright. And yeah, watch out for those cataquacks on the beach because they will get you. Oh, see? See, I absorbed a red shell. And now there's only one heart around me, so I can get only hit one more time. Alright. Alright. And I like to switch characters if only one of them has an item. Because then you can both have items. Alright. Ah! I didn't really need that. That pretty much did nothing because I already had a red shell, but okay. And I'm gonna do a drift around this corner. See how the sparks are blue? I do that by pressing R and drifting, and that actually slows down the cart a little bit and lets you go around tight corners a lot better. Woo! First! And there's actually a little shortcut. Did you see that pipe right behind us after they finished? I kind of forgot how you get there, but eh, I'm sure y'all will tell me. I've done it before, but it's not, I'm not really concerned with it. <laughs> because this, I mean, this circuit's already really easy as it is. All right, the theme park. Woo! Love this place. It's so much fun doing time trials. This is Baby Park. And the ground reminds me of Sweet Tarts. <laughs> Yeah, I got my blast start. And this is a very good place to be using that drift trick. What you do to get the sparks to be blue and to get that little turbo uh, right there after you get the blue sparks is you drift and you turn your joystick toward the direction that you're turning. And, you know, you can drift and it's easier to control after you get the blue sparks. Very useful in this one. You can actually cut the corner really like narrow there. Don't knock into the wall because that's just, that'll slow you down a lot. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. I like this place because the roller coaster goes over you and the chains on the side are like little hearts. Okay, so see we're in first. We don't really get great items, but it's good to keep them. Well, unless you get hit by a lightning bolt like that. Someone actually has a lightning bolt. All the characters except that person who had the lightning bolt get smaller, they get slower, and they lose all their items. But anyway, see I'm in first. It's good to keep a green shell because people will try to get you with red shells and you can always like poop them out behind you. So, oh dang it. I just got hit by a spiny blue shell. Those actually target the very first player and it's really annoying but you can't really do anything about it, even if you have a green shell. And I totally got pummeled there at the end, but I still got first. Oh yeah, I'm number one. <laughs> I love Daisy in this because she says the funniest things. Like when she loses, she goes, oh, brutal. And then if she, um, if she tries to catch someone or she tries to like punch someone, she goes, yo. <laughs> so I like playing with her over Peach a lot better. And Peach is just really, I don't know, really high-pitched. Not that I'm not high-pitched or anything, so I can't really, like, say anything about that. But, yeah, I like Daisy's voice better. Okay. Here. We know how much I hate desert levels, but you just have to do it. And this one isn't really that bad. It's definitely not as bad as the desert level in Mario Kart 64. Because there was a train in that one, and I always got hit by the train. Anyway, you see the chain chomp there? That is actually baby Mario and baby Luigi's special item. And you get to like trail behind the chain chomp and he carries you and knocks characters out of the way. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. special item, get him. <laughs> Ow, 
those stupid Pokeballs. I'll pokey your eyes out next time. <laughs> That's one of the dumbest things I've ever said. Ignore me. Ignore me. Anyway, it's good to get um, some mushrooms here that give you a slight boost over these, the sand here. Oh, like this. Yay! And the item that I just got hit by was actually a Yoshi egg. And they home in on enemies or, you know, other opponents. In that case, it was me. And there's always three items inside a Yoshi egg or a Birdo egg, whichever one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love getting the hearts. And anyway, there's always three random items in there, and if you get lucky, you can get the shell, or the shell, the mushroom. Dude, it is so hard to talk in race, let me tell you. <laughs> I am struggling right now. Oh, dang it, someone. That's such a cheap shot. Oh, it was you, Waluigi and Baby Mario. I see you, you're the only big one. Unless he just got hit or something right when the lightning struck. Haha, <laughs> don't get sucked into this, uh, right here. Because you'll just get eaten by something in the middle, I'm pretty sure. Ah! Dude, I totally knocked into him. Totally knocked into his balls. That was not cool. We almost done! We almost done! We just got the big fat monkey in front of us. In 150cc, the competitors against you if you're like a medium weighted character or a lightweight character they will always be the heavyweight characters because the heavyweight characters will actually knock you out of the way and you'll get really mad like me and just end up calling them a bunch of fat asses and I never play with heavy characters usually but you know anyway what place did I get I didn't even notice probably first that was so easy but look we have the award ceremony in Peach Beach and look who's here to cheer us on Pianta's and Noki's from Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah, I love this. It's so cute. <laughs> and there is Toadsworth driving us in on the gold car, which I actually unlocked and you can use with any character in the game. No matter if you're lightweight or heavyweight or whatever. And there's our gold trophy. Congratulations. And I don't get to sign my initials or anything, because I didn't beat, like, a, a record time or anything, but that's okay. Anyway, guys, next time we are going to go do the next Grand Prix Cup, and I will see you then. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy this LP. Bye, guys.